Now the question is how you can interact with AI. There are three levels of interaction with AI so you can use and benefit from it. The easiest way to start interacting with AI is by using ready to use software products and cloud applications. There are many available in the market to which you can subscribe and start using it. These can be used in various accounting and finance fields such as bookkeeping, financial analysis, compliance, forecasting, etc. Depending on the type of work, the software product could complex as IBM Watson to the simplest one like Excel. Azure is a Microsoft cloud platform that provides business solutions. For example, one of its machine learning add-in is available in Excel to get insights from customers' feedback using sentiment analysis. A use case of natural language processing, which is a subfield of AI. These products can help in many ways. For example, picking relevant information from an invoice and saving it in a CSV file or directly in the selected GL or automatically predicting appropriate GL account for an expense transaction. Detecting an instance of non-compliance or predicting the reason for the non-compliance without human intervention. So how these applications identify or predict these tasks? The reason is that they are trained with lots of data to learn from that make them useful to predict. At that level, you are involved in the birthing of AI. The real brain that works behind the scene is the algorithm. At this level, you design it and bring it to life by computer coding. The term algorithm derives from the name of Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarzami. In the very simplest meaning, the algorithm is a step-by-step -step set of instructions. Let's take a hypothetical example. If you need to prepare a tea for your guests, say two, then a set of instructions that would help you to prepare the tea could be something like this. Assess how many cups of tea you need to make. Count the number of people. Plus one. There are two guests and one for you, so three cups. For total number, fill water with the same number of cups in a boiling pot and heat it at 50 degrees for 10 minutes. An extra two minutes for any additional cups of water. Put three spoons of tea after the required time in boiling water and wait for two minutes. Pour the tea into cups. Serve it. Essentially, any process of teaching someone how to do something uses algorithm. Around the 1930s, British mathematician and computer scientist Alan Turing was among the first scientists 
who formally captured how individuals performed computations. He worked out how, in theory, a machine follows algorithmic instructions and solves complex problems. Modern AI engineers design algorithms and after design, they bring them to life by using computer programming. What is required is input and algorithmic process. The algorithm learns from inputs and provides output. Considering the level of maths and computer science skill required, this level is not suitable for accountants in my opinion. This level sits in between the two levels discussed earlier, where neither you design and code algorithm nor simple mouse click software. At this level, you use pre-built open source, free AI libraries, libraries of algorithms designed and published by a group of individuals and entities and provided for free to use. All you need is to have a skill in a programming language such as Python, Java, C, R, so you can import these libraries and make use of them in data analytics and AI projects. The advantage of this over the software is you don't have to pay for various products for various types of projects you are doing and have more control. But the disadvantage is you have to spend some time to learn how AI works and some basic level of understanding of few algorithms. So you know which business situation is suitable to use which algorithm. You also need to spend time training your algorithm before it is available for use. This is the level PwC and other professional accountancy bodies emphasis for future accountants to achieve in their white paper and articles. All efforts are being made to make this series useful for accountants with a minimum understanding of computer science. However, Knowledge of Python programming will help you to achieve the maximum benefits of this course. If you are not familiar with Python and want to learn, I have playlist Python for accountants on this YouTube channel. Or you can access the same in a course format free at Udemy. Links are in the description.